Hello and welcome to our video series about pattern recognition within FPGA. In this video we have a look at the FPGA implementation. In the previous video we have seen that uh, we need um, architecture where we first have uh, a region of um, 7x7 pixel which is generated by line memories and flip-flops. Then these pixels go to a neural network with 37 and 4 nodes in the hidden and the output layer. And the neurons are implemented with multiplications and additions plus a lookup table for the sigmoid function. All this is quite some computing power. So with uh, 55 uh, million pixels per second and uh, the number of neurons I mentioned, we have about 100 billion multiplications in a second. The NetPGA is well suited to do that because it has uh, parallel units for computing, for multiplication, for the wiring, for the connection of these 49 pixels, we have uh, interconnections and uh, some multiplications um, are not, do not uh, need an implementation because in the hardware implementation they are dismissed if we have a multiplication by zero or if we have a packed factor that is a power of two, one, two, four, eight, then um, this is just a shift of the input value. We have a remote lab that offers several FPGAs, a Cyclone 4 and a Cyclone 5. However, um, these FPGAs are still too small for this new network. There's another FPGA in preparation, which is a Cyclone 10, and uh, this will come later. And um, another option for you would be to use a hardware I described in another video. This is a Terasic board. For our implementation, we have a look at the Cyclone 10. This is the result of uh, the synthesis with the Cyclone 10. You see that um, you use uh, 38,000 logic elements, 1.4 million memory bits, and uh, 366 multipliers. And as you can see from the percentages, this is uh, good usage of the FPGA. There's still some room for further functionality. For timing, um, you have the requirements of 74.25 MHz for a 720p video signal. And um, this is tight, so if you do not meet the timing requirements, you could optimize um, synthesis by choosing uh, a performance mode for synthesis. Before we look at the video processing of the FPGA, let's go back to the simulation result of the previous video to understand what we will see in the output video. This is the output image and uh, let us zoom in. You see by the color overlay how the symbols are detected. So the cross has been detected, you see the red dot, the X has been detected, you see the blue marking, the circle is also detected, you see the green spot, there's a small misinterpretation here but uh, the main spot is green. The solid circle is also detected, you see yellow, but here at the border of the dot you see a lot of different results. You see the blue for the X, you see the red for the cross, so there is room for improvement. But overall you see that the neural network works fine. The big advantage of the FPGA is real-time processing. So therefore we will now have a look at video processing and first we want to look at the input video that we will present to the FPGA. This file is also available on our website. You see the symbols and um, they are moving a little bit to the left and the right. Then we have uh, faster movement. The image uh, is tilted to the left and the right. We enlarge and we reduce the size of the symbols. We add some noise to have different situations for detecting the pattern. 
And now I show you the result of the FPGA processing. The processing is done for every frame, so this is um, the high computing power that the FPGA offers. And also if we tilt, you still have good detection of the symbols. For the noise, you see that small noise does not lead to an error, but if we have a larger noise, then this is detected. So this is something you could improve. Depending on the video quality, that might be a little bit hard to see. So let's have another look with a magnified version of the output video. This is now magnified by a factor of four. You see the symbols and uh, the color overlay. Even if we rotate, um, still detection is okay. Also change of resolution is fine. But the noise leads to some errors. So the result shows that the FPGA is able to perform real-time pattern recognition. And you saw the architecture and implementation for such a design. There are some small things to improve. So um, this is something um, that you can do as an experiment. And in another video, I will give you some suggestions.